everyone. Have you ever felt a tiny shock during a handshake? That's because of static electricity, which we are all capable of producing. Here is a static electricity experiment you can carry out in the comfort of your home to witness the power of static electricity. What you have to do? Rub the implanted balloon against the woolen or polyester cloths and expose it to the thin plastic strip that's already made by you. This is nothing but you are adding surplus of electrons, that's negative charges, to the surface of the balloon. So, how does this static electricity work? All materials are made up of molecules and all molecules have tiny atoms with positively charged protons, neutral neutrons, and negatively charged electrons floating around. Most of the time, an atom is neutral with the same number of protons and electrons. When an atom's proton and electron numbers are uneven, the electron dance begins. If you place two different materials next to each other, electrons will start jumping from one material to the other. Conductive materials like metals hold onto their electrons tightly, whereas insulating materials such as plastic can be charged by friction because they easily gain or lose electrons. Hence, it is the result of an imbalance between negative and positive charges in an object. These charges can build up on the surface of an object until they find a way to be released or discharged. In this case, rubbing the balloon against the woolen or polyester cloths, basically you are transferring or adding a surplus of electrons, that is, negative charges to the surface of the balloon and eventually the balloon induces a dipole in the thin strip of plastic and it gets attracted that is it responds or retorts to the balloon movement by now you must have understood how does the static electricity work now can you explain what causes the shock of the falling situations why does a plastic comb or a plastic scale rub with dry hair attract tiny pieces of paper? Why do your clothes stick together when they come out of the dryer or after sun dry? Why do you sometimes get a shock on a cold day when you touch metal? Have you ever been shocked after putting on a sweater or woolen scarf? This all because of static electricity. Point to be noted, thus rubbing the balloon by woolen cloth in one direction give a different result than rubbing back and forth. Try comparing the effectiveness of different materials for producing a static charge. We look forward to hear your observations. Thank you for watching.